Abner. Karl Schmoller. Karl, Karl Schmoller? No, it's Hans Schmoller. And then the line is Kornboller. 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 What is that actually? Mm -hmm. It's like corn. Corn? That means corn. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. He's Con Bola. Who oh, says on Instagram? Con Bola. More juicy content. Thank you for watching. Patreon follows official Twitter account. That was inappropriate. Today, what's happening? I got a little treat for you. A little long. Not long, but it's a little short. It's, it's a, a little short long show. short. Hey, nice. It's it's Fourteen short. minutes. Twelve. Uh, it's such a good Bengali. Bengali. Thank you. Uh, but this is his short film he did. <sighs> Uh, this is by, this is called, uh, it's just called Two. Have you heard about it? I know you're reading this book. I'm so happy we're doing this. Uh, right but now. have you heard about it from the book yet? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, this was actually, it's on the Oscars site, which is cool. He's Oscar level. I know, but I'm just, I'm, like, it's, it's interesting that the short film, the only place it's on the internet is on the Oscar site. Heck yeah, it's on the Oscar uh, site. It's in 2016, so is that when he got this? I can't wait. I, let's dive into this and all of the beautiful Bengali brothers and sisters are like, yes, finally. So we will get to the, the features, don't worry, but I wanted to get to something and somebody yes. said he's got a, a, quite a, a couple short films. This is one of his most Yeah, the popular. Apu trilogy, guys, is way at the top of our list to see. Yes. So. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Strap in. <sighs> what year was this? 40 so? Well, don't, what, know. What year, what, don't know. When did he start Shh. making film? 40s? Sounds like 40s. Shut up. 50s maybe? Wow. Do you wear Mickey Mouse ears? Shut up. I'm asking if you wear Mickey Mouse ears. Just look. background score.
So you do that from your ivory palace.
not a not a not a word spoken in that from 1964 and the man makes powerful messages in 12 minutes without saying a word in black and white and with two children I'm in love yeah I am in love that is probably that's probably the best short film I've ever seen on so many levels I just I could I could talk for a half an hour yeah obviously a, a ton of symbolism uh, in this of uh, an innocent symbolism really of something you wouldn't expect from two two kids uh-huh you know you know kids are for the most part pretty innocent but they're the way they're taught is I think the, the key here um, the one kid he, he's going about his daily life drinking coke he has Mickey Mouse ears meaning he went to Disney at one point mm-hmm. so he's clearly an upper class child from an upper class mm-hmm. family mm-hmm. this other kid which is I'm guessing why it's called two mm-hmm. so uh, those two kids and uh, two lives uh, and two everything uh, and then he sees him playing and you're like oh they're going to play together but then you realize this kid is basically just trying to show off all of his toys and the other kid's like oh okay and then he finally gets something that the other kid can't have because he's inside uh, and he's like well if I can't have that neither can you mm-hmm. <laughs> look at this gun I have <laughs> here and so he eats this whole thing of trying to break down this other guy and show and then at the end trying to drown it out and then also show him the kid outside he's like um look at all these toys i got blah, blah, blah. and then he shows me i don't know bro, i'm just out here i'm being a kid i'm having fun like it doesn't you don't need all that stuff you're still dead inside <laughs> so like to convey all of that in 1964 in black and white in 12 minutes with children and, and obviously the, the artisticness and the symbolisms and everything that he did is incredibly, incredibly talented. Obviously, that you know that. <laughs> I mean, where I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Uh, obviously, this being the first exposure of him, uh, he's pretty warranted of the, the praise out of a 12-minute video that I just saw for the first time. Would you not agree? It's, it's the best short film I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know that filmmaking can get any better than that. And if that's just an appetizer of his works, then uh, there's, I, I literally, I could talk for half an hour about <laughs> the, so let's just talk about the symbolism. Mm-hmm. First of all, he puts us in a position of empathetic sympathy with this kid at the very beginning and makes you feel connected to him and relate to him. Mm-hmm. Which is really, really, really important. Yeah. Because what he's letting you know is every single one of us is capable of being like this person. So don't judge them before you look at yourself in the mirror and recognize that the evils that are in the world, you're capable of every single one of them yourself. Mm-hmm. So he puts you in that kid's position. I grew up as an only child and I did stuff that kid was doing. I could feel that Coke bottle on his lips and hitting his teeth and the coldness of it and the feeling of it and the bubbles going into the mouth. I could see the familial waving of a family member leaving and it's the aftermath of his birthday party. That's why the balloons are up, but they're kind of deflated and he's there and I've done that. I've, I have lit things to hear a balloon pop. So he's immediately getting, you've done that. You've done that. You've been to Disneyland, but you also know that Disneyland's very expensive. Does that little kid know it's expensive? And he's surrounded by a lot of gifts. Does he realize how expensive those are? But you've done that. You've played with that. You've done things like that. And so he gets you into that position. And then he immediately shows you the other little kid, and you've done that too. The fact that that little kid outside has his feet on the ground. He's grounded, he's connected to the earth, and that kid is up above and standing on manufactured elevation. Yeah. And the class differentiation, how they're both little kids, but they're in class differentiations. 
And then the simplicity of the other little kid wanting it to be something where they're playing together, but he turns it into a competition. And then he goes from being competitive to being outright jealous of him. And this little kid will not be, even when it gets to the point where he reaches, that's why I said, come out of your ivory tower, man. Let's see you fly a kite. Mm -hmm. He goes so far as to shoot the kid's kite down and the little kid takes the high ground. And rather than try for retribution or get angry and go pout and go away and not be himself anymore, the little, the brat kid who you can't call a brat because you identified with him, you're a brat too. He thinks he's one. And then we're back to the very beginning and that little guy out there is playing his song with his flute. Mm. And he didn't win and all of his toys are going. A moment before, Satyajit Ray left you with nothing but the sound of the wind. He can't even hear the sound of nature. He can't even hear the sound of the flute anymore because he lost. And then that machine hits the thing and makes his little figurative ivory tower go. Yeah. And no one said a word. Yeah. That's that's what's and really no impressive. one said a freaking the one that that like, like basically the the issue of class basically mm -hmm. is discussed from children without a word. Done. I, it made me think of the billion dollar home and the looking over the poor of Mumbai. Yeah, and the reality, like most situations, is who are the really rich people? Yeah, the rich people are truly the ones who don't let their spirits become dissuaded by the arrogant and the prideful who try to shoot them down and who are connected to what really matters in this world. This man transcends anything I've seen somebody put into a short film. And now I understand why he's honored by the Academy and considered by Martin Scorsese to be the preeminent filmmaker. And this is just from one short film. I'm, I'm just, my life has been changed right now. <laughs> I have just witnessed mastery of cinema at a level that is about as good as it gets. This, this is to cinema what Ustaji Zakir Hussein is the tablet. It mm -hmm. doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. It doesn't absolutely. get any better than that. Let us know if he has wow. other short films because we'd love to see those. Obviously, oh, we have the goodness. entire uh, Apu trilogy uh, and uh, we'd love to watch any of his work. We will get to them. And, and I'm mad them. now, too. They just figured out about it. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm going to get mad and emotional because here I am. You know, we're cinema lovers. Did I ever teach you in a class about Satyajit Ray? You can teach me in a class. <laughs> I just... Thank you, God, that I didn't lose any more years without knowing about the things we're learning. Man, uh, yeah, a gem. That was great. That was great. Please let us know more down in the comments.